Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here, and welcome to my front porch. You know, this weather, unbelievable. I'm here in Alberta, and uh, two weeks ago, it was minus, raw temperature, minus 43 when I got up. Wind chill in the minus 50s. And now, no jacket, beautiful sunshine, can't understand. But I can understand some value whiskey. It is January and I'm back uh, looking at a few bottles that I opened in January. Now I bought them throughout the year. I buy them on clearance, I buy them on sale, um, but this whiskey is uh, a nod to that January can be tough economically and uh, is this whiskey good to consider? So in this um, episode I'm going to look at another scotch. Uh, this is a pure malt. It is a blend but it is a pure malt scotch, has an age stamp of 12 years. This will be a look at Glen Silver's pure malt 12 year old scotch. Thanks for staying with me uh, through the, the break there. Uh, as I said, you know, this is, is a blend. Uh, it comes from a variety of, of distilleries. Um, I, I don't know enough about this. I, I love the presentation. You know, it came in a box, nice stout bottle, good stopper. You know, it tells you it's 12 years old. It also tells you it's pure malt, which is fantastic information because it means that it's only barley in here. A lot of blended, if it just says blended scotch, then it's gonna have some grain, some malt, might have the right flavor you're looking for. But this, because it is pure malt, is just barley. As I said, 12 years, it's a, it's a 40%, so a little light on the ABV. Um, I couldn't find any more really about this. You can go to their website. Uh, I didn't find it very, uh, you know, informative. I believe it's a Highland Scotch. By that, I mean more um, space eyed or Highland distilleries in it. But I'll tell you about the Scotch itself, what it smells like, what it tastes like, and what I think. So, Glen Silver's 12, pure malt. Nose is uh, light orchard fruits, a little bit of toffee, vanilla, a little bit of citrus. Ah, you know, it's really uh, fairly gentle. Um, certainly, I think, if you like scotch, not going to put you off. Not necessarily going to draw you in. Yeah, light raisin. Yeah, like a yellow, yellow fruits again. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but really just, you know, that light yellow raisin. Maybe an apricot, something like that. Citrus. Yeah, not too much, but not bad. See how it tastes, Blanche. You know, it's nicely coating. Um, I think some of the barley sugars are going to come up pretty quick, so a bit of a cereal note to it. A little graham cracker note to it. Very gentle spices, more, more sugar, toffee, vanilla. Fruit goes away in the palate, really struggling to find fruit, but coating, cereal sweetness, that barley note, super gentle. Better take another quick sip. You know, really trying to get more flavors out of it. And it's not giving up that much. Got a little bit of lemon there in the palate. Finishes over pretty quick, but it's clean. Um, decently drying. It's not astringent. It's not pulling out of my mouth. But not immediately bitter. Um, but not a lot of oak. Not a lot of cast character in this. Um, 
I have to say, uh, for the price that I got this at, it was sub 30, it's like under 30. I think now, it, it, wild variety of price in Alberta, but um, certainly for that price range, if you're just looking for a, a fairly gentle scotch, not a lot of char, not a lot of oak, more that malt, cereal, sugar, a little bit of clean citrus in there. Um, I think you could probably get away with this. That you would that it, I could I could recommend it. You know, critically, it's not that exciting. So it kind of sits in that three and a half stars, which is really middle of the road. It means it's not bad, but it also means it's not really going to excite you. Having said that, you know, for the price, I'm surprised at um, at how much I enjoyed this scotch or am enjoying it. I mean, I haven't had it open very long, and it's been a very easy pour. Um, it's not complicated. It's not going to give you a lot to think about, but at the same time, it's not, you know, super bitter, like, you know, that astringency, it's not, um, really out of balance. I think, uh, however they put their cast together, um, couldn't hesitate. I mean, I couldn't hesitate. <laughs> I hesitate to try to guess what's in here. Um, it's not, you know, pinging a lot of characteristic from one distillery over another, which sometimes gets me into, oh, I think it's this one, or I think it's that one. For me, uh, this pretty much represents blends well, gentle, uh, uh, broad appeal, that kind of thing. Uh, but because it is a pure malt and only barley, I think it does almost soften it up a little bit. So, uh, Anyways, I can certainly recommend it to you guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Cheers.